Awili Health Science Institute, Juba Health Science Institute, Nutrition, Clinical Officer, Midwifery and Nurses. And then these ones are encyclopedias. And, this okay. one is. and then these ones so are for, for, for history and government. We have here, this one is uh, literature and communication, which is English. We have here computer st uh, studies. Oh. Yeah, and then those ones, uh, the, the, these ones are uh, novels okay. from different departments like uh, political, economic, religious, social, and sports novels. Mm -hmm. And then these sites are primary, primary books. This column here, uh, this area of grammar books. Mm -hmm. And these ones here are for lesser children. For for development. Okay, I, that, that's very good. You people did very very wonderful jobs. You did a very wonderful job. I seen you uh, started this uh, great uh, development or this uh, milestones. Mm -hmm. Is there any challenges you have faced? Yeah, we have a lot of challenges. One of the challenges we have here, mm. uh, one is uh, the, the the space. When you look at the space, the space itself is not enough for okay. eating, for making more cells, and then also for making benches and so on is not enough. Mm -hmm. If you come to this room here, mm -hmm. uh, this room is also made for it, uh, but uh, it is still too too small. Oh, it's still too small, yeah. Too small, and also, mm -hmm. uh, we also have the challenge of, uh, of uh, office utensils or office furniture. Like okay. the benches for the for the learners or the users mm -hmm. to sit and the other office furniture. Mm -hmm. uh, we are appealing to the state government, NGOs and the other well wishers that if they can able to help, they can help us if possible in the areas where they can, so that it can make this uh, program continue well and prosper. And another thing we will also have here is a finance issue of, uh, of running some administrative matters uh, like uh, paying the librarian or the manager. Those are the challenges we, we, we have here. And this okay. thing is so beneficial to the whole community. More special those who are pursuing diplomas, certificates and degrees in various institutions, universities and so on. Uh, it is very nice for research purposes whereby someone can come here for research and uh, make a research based on what he's going to sit for his semester. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I know so many people in Awili here heard about this library, but uh, they don't know where it is located. And uh, now you have a, if you have a chance to talk to them, what uh, can you tell them? Uh, what you want to tell them that uh, uh, we first want to apologize because if you look at the, 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 the position or the location of the library, it is not at a strategic position. It is actually in the residential area, whereby it is very hard, it is inside the residential area, where it is very hard uh, for people to, act, to get access to it or to access it. So uh, one day, one time, we shall organize and uh, go to the public media, such as the such as this one, such as the Akoliam radio station. You can go to them, uh, we go for radio talk show, so that we are aware of community about the, the, the library. And also, the time the governor came here for launching, he promised that he, the government, the state government promised that he, he, uh, especially under the leadership of uh, Tonga Kengo, that he will, his government will try very hard, at least, he, to give us a plot. So that is a promise they have made and we are still wait, waiting for their pledges. If they can provide for us a land, and then we can move this place to a strategic position where there is where there is no road and then everybody will get access to it. Good, good, good. Yes. Uh, who is the brain behind these uh, great milestones? Uh, the person in charge of this who has come up with this program mm. is called Mr. Quit Major. Okay. Uh, so Coach Majok is the one who has come with this program uh, all the way from the US. He's a citizen. He's an American. He's a South Sudan. He's an American South. You know, he's a South Sudanese American. Okay. Yeah, who has spent a lot of time outside in the US, and he, he has been a teacher there for 12 years in America. Oh. 
another four years in Indonesia, and then another four years in Lebanon. But uh, due to his age, he has retired. So he's the one who came up with this program. He said it is very important. He have love for his people. He's a patriotic person. He's the one who will come up with this program so that his people should also have this program here in a week. Oh, that's very good. That's yeah. very good. Uh, you brought all these books from uh, U.S. or you bought them within here? No, these books, mm. he brought all these books from U.S. Okay. That's why when you look at these novels, most of these novels are written by, by Europeans, others are written by, by Indians, others are written by, by Westerners. So we only have few African novels here, yeah. especially this one of Martin King Luda. Yeah. This one is uh, of King Luda. Yeah. Uh, this is the only African book I have seen here, but not only this, there are many. But I do not have time to go over all this to check which ones are African novels. But yeah. for time to come, I will try to specify them yeah. according to their areas, such as maybe the political novels will be shut apart, and then the economic levels, novels, or religious novels, it will be, they will yeah. be partitioned according to their, their, their departments. Yes. Do, do you charge people who come to read here? No, we don't charge people. Mm. Yeah, we don't charge people. We all this this thing is free. That's why it's called a public library. Oh, so, so it, it is free completely. It is free of. So time. when someone come and he want to read here, okay, do you give time? Is there a time you set for once who want to read here? No, no, there's no time limit. The okay. only thing is that is so long so long as soon as the door is open, mm. uh, like I come here at the eight, I at the twelve mm. from eight up to twelve. It is my lunch time. I go for lunch at 12, I come back at 2. Then from 2 up to 4 o'clock, this is when I close the, 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 the door. But uh, as long as I'm around, mm -hmm. and uh, so long as the door is open, it is allowed for anyone to come and take time that he needs to spend here. Is it free to spend two hours, more than two hours, so long as it is a, it is a working hours. Okay. Yeah. That's very good. How many people work here? Uh, it's only I. Oh, you are the only person working here? Yeah, it's only I. I was supposed to bring my assistant. Okay. But it, due to the finance, the issue mm. of finance, I'm unable to bring show. So I'm just, I just volunteer myself mm. uh, to, to push it, to wait for friends and the also government departments or NGOs and other well wishers. Mm. If they can extend their support to us, that is now the time when we sit down, then you can bring other people on the board. Yeah. What what, what time do you uh, people uh, operate? Like, uh, what time do you uh, start here and what time do you close? What time do you open and what time do you close? The working days are from Monday to, Monday to Friday, mm -hmm. from 8 mm. o'clock in the morning up to 4 p.m. in the evening. Oh, These yeah. are the working this is the working time and the working days from Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday, and you don't work on Saturday? Eh? On, Saturday Sunday. on Saturdays and Sunday we don't work. But okay. uh, we shall come with that program for weekends because uh, I have I have learned that most of the people who are, might be interested mm. in coming to visit the library, mm -hmm. most of them are in the first and second working class whereby others work with the different companies, organizations, and government departments. Mm -hmm. So they don't have time to come and sit down. Uh, they will only have maybe time, maybe Saturdays and Sunday. Okay. Uh, that one I will see, so that I'll sit down with my boss, then we design the program for weekends, if possible. Okay. But for now, we don't have a weekend programs. Oh, you don't have weekend program? Yeah, for now. Uh, maybe in right. future right. we shall plan for it, when we have a resource. And uh, if I had you before, it is like mm -hmm. you said, uh, you don't give uh, or you don't borrow. You mm -hmm. don't borrow out the books for someone who want to go and read, and then he return back later. You don't borrow it to anyone. At the time now, at the moment, we don't borrow because mm -hmm. there are some parameters we need to put as I uh, want to put down. Mm -hmm. Like a first, we want to first that book you are seeing there is not a registration book. Yeah. That is just a visitors book. Any yeah. big journal on your you can just come and sign. Okay. But uh, we are going to, after having the, after according to the visitors' books there, mm. we shall see the seriousness uh, of these people. So, yeah. how many people are there? Who are the daily comers here in this library? 
So these people, we shall consider them as our daily library users, whereby before we come with that decision, we shall first go to the media station, especially our college FM, our college FM oh, radio station, yeah. mm. whereby we shall alert them that now we are going to sit down as a demonstration to set some parameters like a registration fee. They have to pay registration fee after paying registration fee, and then they have to pay for the membership fee. This membership fee will be taken and designed the IDs for the library. When somebody is given ID, so it means that that person is now confirmed the partial and part of the library, whereby he can borrow a book at any time he wishes, because now he's registered and he has the what? He has the ID. But now since that, that, that one is not in place, we cannot borrow a book. If you borrow a book to someone now, it will be very impossible to trust out that person exactly. to have exactly. his details. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, all right. Th thank you very much, uh, uh, Brother Jomans. Mm -hmm. For more information, you have uh, actually a press here. Uh, I'm very happy to you, and I know uh, listeners of Willie Spider will get more from you, and a lot of people who heard about this mm -hmm. place today should find time to come and read here. There are so many books here, and I know when they come, they will go with so many information with them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kong. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hello, uh, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Awili Spider Channel. Uh, I'm today in Awil Public Library. It's located in uh, Ayuang. Uh, the library has a lot of books. Uh, you might have had more information from the librarians, Ustaz Yeomans, he told you more about this library. Kindly, I'm requesting you to come and feed your mind with more knowledge. This place has so many books, and this is the first ever library in a will town. You know, it is very, very interesting. If you are within a will, please tell your friend and let your friend tell his friend to come and feed your mind with knowledge. The books are so many here. I'm also requesting you, brothers and sisters, if you are new in this channel, please subscribe. Subscribe, click likes, and also comments. Thank you very much for taking time to watch this video. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Click that one again. Click. Uh, conclusion is that I also request you, Mr. Peter Kong, uh, from here. Uh, to go outside there as the disciple of the library where some of your colleagues, even it, at your workplace, some of your fellow staffs and the other colleagues outside there, uh, you take this information to them, let them come and visit the library. So this library, it is true that many people heard about it, but they don't know exactly where it is located due to the location of the place it is not strategic so i i, I appeal to you to take the information outside there to our colleagues and the community at large about the library so that they should come and visit the library this library it will be very helpful to everyone here uh, especially it will help you for those who are politicians it will help you to develop your career of becoming a good politician, a better politician, a yeah. better politician, and also <laughs> we also have those who are doing health department like nursing, a midwifery, clinical officers, and nutrition. We have all the books here, so from various levels at the secondary to the university level, we have all the books. Take my message, our message to them, so that they feel free and come. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ustaz Jomans. I appreciate the time mm. uh, you have given me, mm. and I'm really very happy to be here. Mm. Subs uh, my fellow brothers, please, and sisters, please subscribe, click likes, and comments. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thanks.